Do you believe you're in a matrix though? Like uh, actually believe? I, I think you have to just think of these things as probabilities, not certainties. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some probability that we're in a simulation. What percentage would you attribute to that? Probably pretty high. I would say it's pretty high. So one way to think of this is to say, if you look at the advancement of video games, in, in our lifetime, or at least in my lifetime, it's gone from very simple video games with where you've got, like Pong, you've got two rectangles and a square just batting it back and forth, to photorealistic, real-time games with millions of people playing simultaneously. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's happened just in the span of 50 years. So if that trend continues, video games will be indistinguishable from reality. And we're also going to have very intelligent characters, like non-player characters, in these video games. Think of how sophisticated the conversations are you can have with an AI today, and that's only going to get uh, more sophisticated. The, you, you, you'll be able to have conversations that are more complex and uh, more sophisticated than any, almost any human conversation, maybe, maybe any. Uh, so then, so then you have, so then the, the future, if civilization continues, will be millions, maybe billions of uh, photorealistic, like indistinguishable from reality video games. And with characters in those video games that are very deep and, and, and where the, the, the dialogue is not pre-programmed. That's for sure what's going to happen it, in, in, this, in this level of the simulation, if you could call it. So then, then what are the odds that we are in base reality? And that, and that this has not happened before.